recently I did a review of the Samsung Gear S3 with the Golf Navi app. It's a device I love. It's an app that left a lot to be desired for me. Didn't replace my game Golf Live. Didn't replace my Microsoft Band. So today what I want to do is want to take a look at Golf Pad and the Golf Pad app. See exactly what that can do with the Samsung Gear S3. Let's get out of bounds. So let's take a look at the Samsung Gear S3 app. And as you can see here, there's not a lot going on as there probably shouldn't be with a smartwatch application. You get distance to the pin, front, middle, and back, and you get a recommended shot selection based on your statistics in the Golf Pad GPS application from your phone. It's black with white or blue lettering, which allows it to be contrasted to the brightness of the sun. However, honestly, it sometimes gets lost out there in the daylight. I did have to jack up the S3 brightness up to 10 in order for me to use it. You can enter shots and putts in order to tag your shots during play, which will sync to the smartphone application that you must be connected to in order to take advantage of the GPS and the statistics in the application. So now let's take it out on the course. All right, so we're on hole two here. And what we've got to do is we've got to use the, first we've got to remember to advance the bezel in order to get on the hole we want. We're getting a reading of 317 to the center of the green, 328 to the back. You have to select a shot so that it records the current shot, not unlike a game golf live or club tracking system. So from 317 out, as you can see, we hit dead solid perfect right in the middle of the fairway. We're getting a reading now of 82 yards to the middle of the green. We've got a really accessible, really accessible flag here, which means I'm going to miss it. But now what I got to remember to do is to select my shot so that that states it's a 244 yard drive. So that sounds about right here for what I'm trying to do. to the center of the green, 370 to the back. Uh, on the app on the phone, uh, you can really take a look at the mapping, a look at the terrain, uh, take a look at where your shot lands and enter that into play. You can't do that on the watch. It's uh, really obviously just limited to uh, adding in your shots, tracking in your shots and, uh, and a range finder. So the app seemed to be syncing relatively easily. Uh, we're getting the counts of my shots entered in on the watch onto the app. Uh, I've had to do some on-the-fly editing, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we finished our round here with the Golf Pad GPS uh, app. Uh, as you can see, I've got 2% battery, just had to charge it up, wait for it to come up. The Golf Pad GPS did drain my battery on my phone. Uh, my watch, however, still has some power left. So as I got into using this app, the, the watch does a good job with syncing with the app. Now, what is a little annoying about the GolfPad GPS app on the phone is that you have to do a lot of data cleanup. Now, I understand it's trying to take over or provide the same type of service as like a Game Golf Live type of device where it's giving you the ability to tag your clubs with the smartwatch or the app itself uh, and then it'll keep statistics, uh, you know, from your clubs. 
The problem with that is there's so much going on. You have to not only tag the shots in your watch, but then clean up the data here. For example, I left 18 a little bit blank so that we could do some cleanup here. You'd have to go to this little Scrabble tile here and out pops a list of the shots that you've taken. So you would go in here and you would, you would put where you started. We teed off from the blues, which is back there. Now you would tag where you took your second shot. You know, tag this as a driver, okay. I tag this, I remember, this is the data cleanup you have to do. I have to remember that my second shot, I played a layup with a seven iron. Okay, so you're not tagging where your seven iron went, you're tagging where you started your seven iron. Much like with a game golf, where you're gonna tag as you take a shot. So my driver landed from the blue tees to right there where I tagged my second shot. That second shot is where the driver lands and where you are picking up your next club. So that would be a seven iron. So as I put okay here, this is where I started my seven iron and this tells me how far my seven iron went based on the next shot, based on the location of the next shot. So I started my driver where it was and then where I hit my seven iron would have been 261 yards. That's what that means. So now when I go into my third club, which was a gap wedge from the rough, uh, I laid up with the seven iron and then how far did my seven iron go? So that's, that's how far my seven iron went, which was 146. I pulled it and chunked it a little bit. So we're gonna say, okay. Now I'm taking a gap wedge and I put that gap wedge, it's a shot. And I wanna set this shot where it landed, which was right in this bunker where I usually land. So this is us cleaning up the shot data. So you have to, you have to do this, unless you can remember every club you have, during the round, you have to do this after every hole. If you are using the smart watch and it syncs with the phone app, you have to add these clubs in after every hole or however much you can remember. If you're using the golf pad app from the phone, you have to select the proper the proper club. So it's a lot of a lot of manipulation you have to do. So let's put okay in that. My gap wedge went 60, uh, and then this ended up being this ended up being a sand wedge from the sand came out of the bunker properly but then rolled off the slope down to there so that's okay i chipped with actually i used the putter but the putter was from the fringe and that was i did that for par so I got my par out of it. So that's all the data manipulation you have to do with the golf pad app. And you see just sitting here in my car, it took us five minutes to do that. It can be a little bit cumbersome. So that's one of the one of the problems I have with, with the golf pad app. There's just too many things that you have to do. Other things that you can do here, it does do a good job taking fairway greens and regulation and, uh, and sand save statistics. So let's check statistics on this one. And, and I wasn't using my M2, I was using my Alpha BB. Uh, so today, average 253, longest was 290. I accidentally hit into some guys on a fairway because I didn't know I would be carrying that long. But it does give you interesting statistics. All right, so I played a couple rounds this weekend with the Golf Pad GPS app for your Android device. What did I think about it? The app is good, the features are good, uh, they're definitely usable. There is a learning curve and there are things that you will have to concede if you want to use it on a course in real time. Are you using a golf application or are you using a standalone smartwatch that gives you the same sort of features that you would find in these type of devices? Comment down below, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you'd like to see more of this type of content. Thanks for watching. This is Degenerate Golf. Let's stay out of bounds.